Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. There is a spot where you can pay $1,000 a night to go camping. That's ridiculous, I hear you saying. Why would anyone spend that much for camping? Well, perhaps if you went through what Jack did, you may rethink your commitment to roughing it too. But more on the rat invasion later. For first, we're going to dive into that age-old debate, glamping versus camping, with some of the top things you should know. Number one, glamping is glamorous camping or camping in luxury. It's a way to enjoy the outdoors while staying in comfort. Number two, glamping comes in a variety of options. You have high-end camping tents, deluxe cabins, tree houses, safari tents, yurts, and RV glamping. Number three, most of us already know what camping is, but it is an outdoor activity that involves an overnight stay away from home with or without shelter. When we think of camping, we usually think of roughing it and getting as close to nature as possible. Number four, glamping and camping are similar because they both involve trying to get out into nature. Where they diverge is exactly how you're doing this. Number five, if you'd prefer an experience that's different from your daily routine, stick with camping. The reason most people love camping is it truly gets you out in nature, away from your phone, and also pushes you to live differently, to get used to living it a bit rougher, and in extreme circumstances, perhaps to even hone your survival skills. As some would say, camping is about developing a life skill rather than going on vacation. Number six, glamping is a more comfortable option that allows you to take in the great outdoors while not forgoing luxury and comfort. It won't necessarily challenge you or require you to learn new skills, but is far more comfortable and accessible than camping. Having said this, it is also more expensive. And number seven, We all know there are plenty of camping sites throughout the U.S., but there are now many glamping options as well. And to find one near you, you can check out a site like glamping.com. But if you are a diehard camping enthusiast and still can't believe anyone would spend hundreds of dollars on luxury camping, consider Jack's story. Jack was camping in the Florida Keys one winter. His campsite for the evening was near an old quarry that had flooded and become a great swimming spot. There was an old dump site near the quarry where someone had abandoned a few stoves and fridges, but it had been years since anyone had brought garbage to the area and no one took much notice of it. This one particular day when Jack was camping, a few citizens took it upon themselves to clean up some of the junk. These good Samaritans told Jack that they would be burning some of the trash in the afternoon, so he moved his campsite further up the hill. Later that evening, As he is settling down for the night, he hears rustling in the bushes. Suddenly, his tent is covered with hundreds of rats climbing everywhere. He shook as many of them off his tent as he could and ran outside to start a fire. By the morning, the rats were gone. Jack figured they were scared out of the dump ground by the cleaning crew and had now moved on to another den. But the following night, the large pack of rats visited him again and this time there seemed to be even more. Again, he spent all night sitting up by the fire, warding the rats off. And the next morning, Jack hurriedly packed up his tent. He decided to return to his previous campsite, but as he was approaching it from the main trail, he sees a dead 11-foot-long alligator resting just a few feet from where he had slept nights before. It was at this point that Jack decided to pull the plug on his Florida camping trip. Alternatively, for under $100 a night, Jack could have stayed in a place like this. Seems unlikely there are any rats or alligators here. But of course, the whole point of camping is the experience, and I doubt many glampers come back with stories good enough to be featured on Business Insider. Do you have any thoughts on glamping versus camping? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. 
And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.